hello and welcome back guys so in this video we are going to learn about how can you use the dark and the light mode in the next js we will implement the both mode light and dark mode so in this video we are going to use the next js 15 the tailwind css version 4 and also the next themes and also the any of uh, components of the shad cn ui so let's get start into it so let me create a empty next.js project npx create next app it latest So our next.js project is created. So let's run this project. Okay. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to ins install the next themes. So npm install next themes. Okay go to your browser and search for the next themes and go to the shed li library okay so you have to go to there and just create a theme provider file into your components folder so let's create that components slash theme provider dot tsx okay just copy all that code from here and paste over here what it will do it will take all over all your children's okay and just wrap them into a next theme provider which is coming from the next themes and just render all your children's okay and go to the layout.tsx file and just change wrap all the children's into the theme provider okay and import the theme provider from the components and also let's go to the browser and you you will see here is a warning what it is saying it is saying that hydration is not done so what we have to do we have to suppress this warning by just saying over here in the html that suppress hydration warning okay so the error will be gone now let's create a button on let's say over here let's create a button that so that we can toggle our themes so just say it toggle theme here you can see this is button is so let's uh, style that class name just say bg gray so that we we can see this one class name border cursor pointer okay so let's because we are having a button so it should be a client component let's create a, a function or we are having two things coming from the use theme hook the theme and the set theme use theme from the next themes okay and let's create a function to toggle them toggle theme which is going to an arrow function and what it will take it will just set the theme if the theme is let's say light okay or 
if theme is light then set it to the dark otherwise set it to the light okay so here we are passing that function so let's remove all these things from this page.tsx file and just create a simple div and with the class name of let's say uh, h screen and flex item center justify center okay and add a button that which we have added from the components button is coming from me components and let's add the toggle and also let's create a give it a class name of uh, uh, boulder and uh, and uh, on click so that we can change the themes we have to import the theme let's make a client component because we are using on click get the theme and the set theme function from the use theme hook which is coming from the next themes okay and just pass the set theme function that if the theme is light then change it to the dark otherwise change it to the light okay it is saying error if we haven't imported the use theme use client okay so you can see that our theme is being changing okay so this is how you can implement the both dark and light theme into your next js application using the next themes and the shadow scene library so thank you so much guys for watching this video i will see you in the next video